sorry that's one way to start a video okay so i'm just gonna jump right into it um i'm gonna start with the technical parts and then i'm just gonna talk about everything else while trying my best to keep i'm like i'm talking doing the voiceover before i even see the edit the editing editing it so i'm just gonna i'm pretty much shooting blind with this voiceover but i pretty much have a good idea okay so I technically started just drawing, this is a character for a graphic novel I started working on. Hold on. Uh, Excuse me. <clears throat> Years ago. Sorry, that was gross. But I'm, I'm just so lazy when it comes to editing. <sighs> okay, so basically, this is, oh, I decided to draw this character and I put it up, the, the line art, on Amino. And I asked, should I color it? Initially, I wanted to color digitally. I mean, I did color digitally, I mean, you see they're here. But I decided, like, while I was at it, why not screen record it and make a speed painting out of it? Because, you know, why not, right? But I had a problem with my screen recorder. It was not working in the beginning. So if this shows off like I'm starting middle of it or the very beginning middle of it, <laughs> um, that's because it is because I had to upload a new, eventually I upload a new one and eventually finally did the digital version of this. Why I say digital version? Because I did this traditionally on normal, normal computer paper with watercolor. It didn't came up pretty. That should have been obvious, but I still did anyway because, so, <laughs> We'll, again, getting the technicals part out of it. I swatch all the colors on the palette, and then I put the pick what the colors I like on the palette, put it on the side of the picture on a different layer, so I know what colors I'm picking out, and then I had to choose what kind of uh, texture I wanted, and I just applied it, shade, whatever, and lightning, light it, or change the whatever you want to call it, the screen, multiply, multiply, whatever, multiply. So on and so forth. Okay, there we go. Technical part out of it, out of the way. So this character. Ooh, what to say about this character? Okay, so better yet, I should start from the beginning. What's about this story about? Okay, so I initially started a story while I was working with kids after school, because after I graduated from college. Sorry, it took me a minute technically a few seconds uh, <laughs> um to figure out what the heck i wanted to do i actually applied to from jobs but i didn't i didn't have the courage or the audacity to say yeah i would work here forever and that's what like it took me into a shocking state when he was like i felt like he and everyone else was like yeah not in this because he said he wanted someone who would be here forever who wants to take a stand i feel like i was like a shoe in like not shoe in I was that close in and I'm like yeah I will work here I definitely want to work here or something like that and I'm like I just I just didn't had it in me to say that because part of me knew it wasn't true part of me want to say it just because it was a creative job and it would be different from when I kind of closer to what I wanted to do but do I want to work here or better do I want to even stay in America I mean I'm still in America so that's mm. yes life choices you make so then I just went on like a height almost in hiatus I didn't really do much creative work I was still drawing but I was mostly drawing from life like people seeing people on the train on the streets on the library on the library in the library <laughs> what's English grammar and I was just, just doing those kind of drawings and artwork. Well, I won't even call it artwork. Just sketches and studies and stuff like that. I was doing nothing creative. I mean, I was. But all the stuff I did, I wasn't 100% all in. And after a while, even those I was into, I stopped drawing halfway. So my burnout was extending longer and longer. And I was, like, getting exhausted. But I had this... Oh, I won't call it a crazy idea, but something to push me more. Oh, well, I would hope to push me and motivate me to draw and create something. Was getting back to the roots of why I initially wanted to go to a co art college and art high school and so on and art classes and so on and so forth. Create graphic novels, but I had no story idea. So I'm like, you know what? It doesn't have to be super creative. Something. Get a premise. Any premise. It doesn't have to be worldwide 
something, just a story, just to, just to start me out. To get them involved and motivation running. It did not work, but you know what? I digress. Let me let me go. Let me go point by point. So I while waiting for the train, I'm like, you know what? Why don't I do a story on this train? This whole train, and I'm like, Ugh. but I didn't know what story. I'm like, no, I read a lot of shoujo, so why not make it a romance? You know why not? Uh, I later learned I'm not really great personally. I don't think I'm great with reading, reading writing <laughs> romance stories. That's a personal thing. I personally feel like it. Feel free to disagree. Oh, if that is, if you have read it. Feel free to disagree. <laughs> but yeah, so I started a story out and I did like three. I redrew, not redrew, rewrote the story three times. And one of the, while I was rewriting it, we, in the middle of writing it and coming with the concept, I quickly come with the, I didn't really think too hard on the characters. I just put whatever down and initially I liked it. More about that later. So I went to conventions and someone says like, you know, you do pretty decent art. I look back on it, it's not that great. I mean, it was pretty okay. The I think the coloring, I will give myself a thing for the coloring, but after a while looking at it, I'm like, there were so much anatomy mistakes. And since I had no one to look over or to point out or help me like critique it, um, I noticed it and I'm like, you know, I should be more critical of my art in the first place. Now that I'm getting back into the art and I'm seeing that, I'm show saying that to myself, you know what? No one's gonna be a no one could be a better critique than you. You should critique learn to critique your art more often. And I say that again, say that now that I get back to art and drawing more often. And um I thought it was an in week video that I just voice record for. But I have been like since I stopped it's like I don't want to go for this part of the story again. Anyhow, to continue with this one. <sighs> Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Slow down, Gabby. Okay, so I did the I did I wrote the story. Eventually, after the third time, I'm like screwed it, whatever. I don't remember how I originally wrote it because when the first time I wrote it, my mother said it was good, but I didn't feel the connection between the characters. So I rewrote it to build more of a connection, but I left out a lot of the physical action so my I think that's why my mother called it boring so I try to rewrite it again but adding the physical physical actions and changing the dialogues a little and even then I still didn't like it <laughs> but I decided to like finally I think it was pretty much now like a year early in a year I was like you know what I wrote a story I want to see it to the end I just want to see a story to the end it's been a long time since I finished a story since junior high early high school like freshman year and it was like murder at the pizzeria i also plan to do a redrawing of that character one of the characters because i'm doing a short clip based on that character in a story that has to relate to that same pizzeria and i did a just for like because i took a concept class to help me build like background then one of the things i'm weakened is background drawing and i acknowledge that I didn't know that in this story, by the way, <laughs> even though I had like plenty of backgrounds to take from because it's based on a real train. I just changed the train name. <laughs> so there's there's that. So since I wrote it like that, I'm like, all right, shoot, what else is going with this? I'm sorry, I'm being distracted by um, talking, um, not me talking, listening to others talking. Sorry. That sound confusing. Okay, ten minutes in. Well, almost. All right, good enough time. So, um, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? I was so distracted. I even lost my train of thought. Thought. Um, I was. Oh, it's. Been, I'm like, I just want to see this. I just want to see this story through. Oh, I took concept classes, and I'm not using any of that in this story. But I built a concept on a story that I originally wasn't even going to do until like later when I was like, you know what? I built this whole concept on this imaginary piece of real. I redesigned it from an old story I wrote a long time ago in freshman year high. I might as well at least make a small little clipping of it in this story. I even did his house. I, I was so interested to this. I, I made a story, a whole story on this character that I even made his design, his house. That's how much I was into it more than this story. <laughs> 
gosh, okay. <laughs> it's no romance, okay? It's not a romance. Let's put let's make that clear. I clearly refuse to forcefully write a romance. Maybe unconsciously as a B plot, okay, or a C plot, maybe even a D plot, most likely a D plot. Uh, but it's got to be unconsciously and I don't want to purposely towards do do like purposely write a romance between these characters force forcefully like I want these characters to get together no I rather like generally think like okay these will eventually maybe they wouldn't be together but would I write them eh, no maybe maybe not most likely not <laughs> But um, but yeah, like that kind of thing. If I'm if I ever add romance into this, and it won't be consciously, I'm like I won't purposely making you like oh, will they won't they thing, and I just end it like that. I don't mean to do it. Like if you if I ever, if you ever read my stories um or, or ever come across that, I can't really apologize. And then the thing about the story. I am now the process where I'm editing, adding screen tones digitally. Like I do this traditionally. Just because I'm like I, just, I wanted to try to get through this, and I definitely didn't want to do digitally because um, I am like, ugh. I mean, when it comes to resources, it's better to do it digitally because you save a lot of money on inks and paper and so on and so forth. But when it comes to digitally, I suck more digitally than I do traditionally, and trust me, the artwork personally could use a lot more like a second look before I went to pen and ink. I thought it was fine, and I just went jumping right into it. Again, this is how much I was not into this. Oh, the story. I, I mean, I've been dragging my feet on this story for years. I mean, I've been doing this since I started around 14, like like 2015, 2016. I started this story, and it's like 2020. I've been dragging my feet for, through the whole process for this story. I even stopped and like forgot about it completely until I like reorganizing my stuff. I found I was like, you know what? Let's let's just see this written. Gabby, we could do this. We could do this together. And then as I got to the end of my story, and I think it was because I started doing design uh, like this is also when I started doing this YouTube videos, making YouTube videos. And one of the few YouTube videos I started making because I didn't know what to do was character design. And I was like trying to force my well not force, but figure a way of how to come up with characters. And as I was coming up with more and more characters, I realized the characters I initially did suck. I don't know why I decided to go through them. I should have like taken more time, redraw them over and over again, change them a little bit. Does it? What does their characters do? Their characters speak to me. It's not like do they look pretty or cute. Is that do their characters speak to me? Like can I automatically figure out the character just from looking at them? And as I draw them, like I know what kind of character this. Is this character is going to be. I know exactly their personality and how what they will say, how they will feel and move. That's what I want to get from my characters now and that's what disappoint me. So as I draw all this, I already knew and planned to do, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this digitally or traditionally, but I want to redesign these characters. Or at least one or two, pick a few and do those. I'm not sure I'll do the cast. It's not like a lot of a whole big giant class. It's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. like five characters. I could do the whole characters. I don't know. I could do a whole cast. Maybe not one whole sitting, but unless I do it digitally and speed up the drawing like by a hundred. <laughs> but I definitely want to go back and like re revisit these characters and redesign them, make them better, and make the person like pop and speak to me more. Even if I'm, although I'm done with the with the story and I'm totally like completely done with the story, um, I do not want to revisit this anytime soon, at least. And I don't want to, um, I don't know, this is, I'm just, I'm just, there you go, let's, let's leave like that. But I do definitely want to revisit, at least revisit the character's design. I'm like, you know what, I thought it was great. This was not the best greatest, because I'm like, I got some idea, but I'm like, there were some characters, specifically two, whose character design eluded me. I just want to make something interesting or different. That's what's my idea of like character design when I initially did it. I'm like, this is shitty character design. No wonder no one, everyone told me I should do. <laughs> but the thing about school, they tell you it's not really good, but they don't tell me how to fix it. What's the point of school, right? Yeah, I mean, I figured it out on my own. Years later, but I figured it out on my own. 
because like um they gave me some suggestions but it didn't click with me and um, like drawing over and over again didn't click with me because it didn't give me an idea of okay i could draw this character over and over again but i it doesn't give me the semblance of what i needed to understand and what i needed to understand it was the feeling of the character do i get the feeling of the character i don't think anyone ever said it to me but hey maybe that's just me and i'm like five more minutes all right got it mm. what what yes i plan to make this 20 minutes long and i'm pretty much also because i talk really fast like free gabby <laughs> <sighs> okay, Musa. So yeah, and so right now, as I'm, I live and breathe, I am right now doing the digital toning of these. And I maybe do some other additions or whatever. I might do one or two color pages. I did one traditionally and I realized I didn't like it. So I will go revisit that, revisit that back and change it up. And make it like, I just want to, I don't know how I'm going to do that one because... I might just leave the colors there and just try to fix it as best I possibly can. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I finished, and I'm then I was thinking about where to post this. Where to post this, this graphic novel. I will put that in the description below if I figure it out. If not, I've been thinking about, my cousin told me about webtoons, so I could just put it on webtoons. But well, here's the thing, initially, because I have no idea how I'm going to post this, work because I do want to post it even though I am disappointed with everything else I still think you know what I give it somewhat of a best shot I know it I will say I give it because this I saw at least through the end um I at least saw this through the end is it the greatest is it good I leave it up to you <laughs> to judge um inside because if I'm living to myself to decide the answer automatically is no I'm hoping it'll be something like a so bad it'd be good, somewhat, at least. <laughs> hoping for that kind of genre, you know. Hope for the best, expect, expect the worst. Um, but yeah, so um, so thinking about putting in webtoons, hopefully it would work. Not the form, um, like the format, because again, initially I just drew it like a regular graphic novel. While webtoons has this vertical kind of format, and if it still works, I will still post it up. I mean, I still work within this format of, a, like, I'm creating a random rap novel, but just, you know, just post up in a vertical way, if that makes any sense at all to anybody listening. If not, I will have to refigure out how to do that, how to post it. Um, I don't know, I think, I think I'm winding down and that's, that's about it. I might have to break it apart in Photoshop. That's what I'm thinking. I know you just said this earlier, but please subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications if you want to see more videos from me. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please share with whoever else want to see me go crazy. And <laughs> and my, uh, well, take a look here. You can't really see me. Uh, as I um about me degrading myself because. I need I, I need to do better. I can't do better if I don't think I can do, um if I don't feel like there's some place to go or motivation to do. So that's how I like to think about it. And also I should do more studies. Oh, also no no that's that's me. What you um you um like I said subscribe already. Leave a comment below. Of there's anything you want to see me say or do, although I put these a bit ahead of time, I will still read it because you know eventually one day I would run out of ideas, and I need your help to come with some. So yeah, <laughs> I'm totally losing. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm coming up to the end of my time that I set for myself. I also I'm kind of hungry, so maybe I'll go get something to eat. So, thank you for watching. Again, if you got this far, I completely, totally appreciate it for even holding out for this long. Um, and, you know, sorry. I guess. Or thank you. Bye.